without further ado, let me invite the AOC to give us our first performance. Big hand for AOC. And you should watch the women sing. They are celebrating and dancing. And this is how they do it. This is like a typical village dance. Once upon a time, there was a terrible drought over all the country. No rain had fallen for many months and the animals were likely to die of thirst. All the pools and water sources were dried up. The queen of the savannah, lion, called the beasts together to a dry bed of the river to find the solution to the problem. We cannot go on with this thirst. We'll all die. I have an idea. What if we all stamp on the sand and see if we can bring up any water from beneath the earth. That's a great idea, Lion, as I am the biggest and strongest animal here. I will go first. So the elephant had begun. She summed her hardest, but produced no result except a choking cloud of dust. So one by one, the rest of the animals gave it a try. Our turn. I bet we can do better than that. All the animals stomped their hardest, but still nothing but dust, dust. Kalulu with your long legs, why don't you give it a try? I don't want to, I've got much better things to do. Now there was no one left except the tortoise, whom they all overlooked on account of his insignificance. What about me guys? I can try! But 
behold, before long, there appeared a damp spot in the riverbed. The rhinos enraged that little thing like that should succeed where he had felt, tossed him up and dashed him against the rock so that his shell could break into a hundred pieces. What? Impossible! Poor tortoise sat picking up the fragments and painfully sticking them together. Dinosaurus had started stamping again, but the damp sign quickly disappeared and clouds of dust rose as before. The others joined Rhino. With no better success. Let the tortoise come try. Before he had been at work more than a few minutes, the water gushed out and filled the well. Thank you, tortoise. Now, only the animals who share the work in gathering the water should be allowed to drink. That means Kululu should not be allowed. Do you agree? Yes, yes lion. lion. Knowing Kululu, he will probably try to steal the water. Let's take turns keeping guard, making sure he doesn't. Good idea. I'll go first. So all the animals had left for bed. Then the, the Kalulu came along with two pots, one full of honey and one empty. Hello, Hyena. What are you doing there? I'm guarding the well because of you. You may not drink water here. I don't want any of your water. It's muddy and bitter. I've got much nicer water here. Ooh, can I taste the wonderful water? Kalulu handed her a stalk of grass which he had dipped in the honey. Oh, indeed. It is sweet. Just let me have some more. I can't do that unless you let me tie up to a tree. If you're not careful, it will knock you over. Diana had so great a longing for the sweet, sweet sink drink that he readily consented. The hair, the Kalulu tied him up so tightly that he could not move. He went to the, he went to the riverbed filled his pot, then jumped in and swam to his heart's content and then finally departed laughing. <laughs> in the morning, the animals found hyena tied to the tree. Why hyena? Who has done this to you? A great host of strong men came in the middle of the night, seized me and tied me up. Nonsense. It was Kaluli, all by himself. Tonight, the lion had kept watch. But he had failed with no better success than the hyena. He was ignominiously tied to the tree. So it was many men who tied you up, lion. No need to talk. He will be too much for any of us. Tonight I shall be there. But elephant had no better success than the rest of the, of the animals, each in his tent, only to be defeated by one trick or another. At last, tortoise came forward. I'm going to catch the woman and have her binding people. Nonsense. See how he outwitted us, the elders. What can you do? A little one like you. Let the tortoise try. That night, a tortoise plunged into the well and sat quiet and still at the bottom. When the hare came along and saw no one got in the well, he sat down beside it, ate his honey, filled up his barrels, and then went to bathe. But as he stepped into the water, he found his feet caught and tripped over. The, the, the tortoise had caught him. I've got him, I've got him, I've caught the Kalulu. Let's take him to the lion for judgment. Next time Kalulu will only be allowed if he has helped collect it. Okay, okay. 
sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyone want some honey? Yeah. All the animals lived happily ever after and remembered one important lesson they had learned. Never judge an animal by their size. Even the smallest animal can make a difference. Thank you.
you can also find large numbers of Lunda and Luwale. Lozi, Gamba, Goni, and Tonga are also found in Northwestern Province. The Kaonde are a matrilineal tribe who are well known for their salt making practices and unique houses. The Northwestern Province is a group made up of people known as Luwale. Before the colonial days, Zambia's different ethnic groups lived in their own communities, each with their own culture. Much of that has changed with the urbanization and influence from Western people of Zambia still preserve their traditions and celebrate over 20 ceremonies and cultural festivals each year in different parts of the country. Some of, our, some of them are small close ceremonies that include a group of young men or women, others involve an entire village, and there are some which are open and attract large crowds to tens of thousands of people that even include the head of state. You can expect to find singing instruments and lots of dancing at these large festivals. The people of the northwestern province play a variety of instruments in the festive ceremonies the most popular and common instruments are the drums. During the ceremonies, sometimes the people of the village or tribes, such as the people of Chewa, wear masks and skirts as you can see up on stage. The, the reason behind this is because they represent dogs, crocodiles, lions, and ancestral spirits. So Tuli has more information about the masks and skirts. the largest copper reserves in Zambia. Agriculture was the major profession and sorghum was the major crop in the province. Pineapples are also, ma pineapples are also a major crop in Winilunga. Tourism in Northwestern province includes beautiful rivers. This attracts many tourists. Thank you for listening to our presentation about the Northwestern province of Zambia. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully you enjoyed it.
in the waters of Luapula and after them we have a year 11 and a year 12 drama. So please uh, welcome the attends up with a nice round of applause. Here there lies waters that drum the sound of pistols. As the rivers flow the waterfalls cascade. The droplets of the Banguelo glisten like a vine of crystals. And let's not forget about the festival that makes all our hearts ache. As the chief begins his dance of conquest, the tribesmen scream as they celebrate the victory. This moment they remember when they go to rest, a tribute to a memory that will last for eternity. The aesthetics of the grainy sun sitting laxly beside the shore, the evening sky tinted a beautiful peach, leaves the viewer dazed and wanting more. The boat leaves Samkia Beach. The Luapula River, calm and pure, breathtaking views it is sure to deliver. 
by its beautiful waters a brilliant azure as the boat drifts across the river. The, me the mesmerizing slow flowing waterfalls, iridescent but fierce as it rushes through the boulders. History of those lost souls carrying heavy paddles on their shoulders. Masses of fish basking in heat, tons of fish born to a curse. A tragic massacre of fishermen's feet. The bubbles of breath begin to burst. Such a wonderful performance from our year 10s. Could we please have a big round of applause for them? I think next swimming gala we should make Mr. Spark and Mr. Tanner swim in that boat, huh? What do you guys think? <laughs> uh, next up we have the 11s and 12s where we have put a drama together for, the, for us and then after that we have the 8s doing a rap battle, so uh, enjoy. Good morning everyone. We're going to start by providing two facts about Zambia. My first one is that did you know that Lusaka and Los Angeles became sister cities in 1968? Did you also know that Lusaka started as a railway siding in 1905? It was initially designed to be a water stop. Gift. Mm, don't you know be why we have such a cheap water supply? Why? The dolomitic marbles underground. The marbles in the ground? Eh. Mm. You know, Prudence, this is exactly why Lusaka is one of the fastest growing cities in southern Africa. Gift, you lie. Serious, serious. Precious, did you know that they tried to move the capital city from Lusaka to Nguabe? Really? Wow. When? In 2017. It's crazy, isn't it? I um, can't believe it. These ministers trying to change everything. <sighs> Madame, good price. Madame, Five quarter. There's no money. I mean, Madame. Just Five quarter. Ah, Madame. Madame, empty it, empty it everywhere you go. I said. Madame, please, no please, please, please. I need ah. it, please. Madame, empty it. No money. Ah. Hello, auntie. Ah, boss. Hello. Hello. Ah, Candolo is in Gaki. Ah. Candolo. Me mm. 20. Ah, boys. No money. Mm. I said no money. Okay, 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 okay. Please, fourteen, uh, boys. Fifteen. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Okay, okay. Ten. 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 Okay. Ah, uh, zip on my boys. As we all know, Lusaka is our capital city, but before it was Livingston. It was given its name after a local chief, Lusaka, with two A's. Most towns and cities in Zambia emerged either along railway lines which were constructed for the purpose of connecting the rich copper mines in the Katanga region of the then Belgium Congo to the South African ports or they emerged around the copper mines. Madame, good price. No, Ten quarter. Your stuff is kind of cheap, not gonna lie. Fifteen quarter. Madame, fifteen. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Jump Jump in, madame. Jump Jump in. Do you have your towel? Madame, I have some towel. I'm sorry, Miss Payne. Mm, hello, madam. You've come here looking beautiful like. You want to buy something? Uh, just some potatoes, please. Potatoes are... Uh, candelo, as you call it. Uh, that's... 500 what? per gram. 
per gram. Girl, I know you're not saying 500. Okay, 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 okay. 550 grams per kilometer, you're please. You're trying to scam me. That's what's going on here. Okay, but why? But why? But why? But why? Girl, look at your stuff. Mm, you, and it looks cheap. Quality. It looks cheap. It looks low quality. Candle Do you know where it works? <laughs> Do you know what car I'm driving? It's special. Do you know what I work? <laughs> this is expensive. I bought this for uh, for whatever. You don't need to know that. But your oh. stuff is cheap. This is why I should have gone to Food Lovers. Shop right where they have good quality things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much yapa, yapa, yapa. This is why dancing fixes problems. What? Come on, my friend. <laughs> The origin of Gambo dance is something to do with the miners. That's where all our money is come from. Yeah, I think so. All that little quarter that you hold comes from the mines. A big hand for Gambo dance.
was formed in 2011 by the late President Michael Chilufia Sato. Starting with six districts, now seven, borders with Malawi and with Tanzania. With 25, with 25 chiefs to take charge of the land and three senior chiefs to keep them in line. Seven tribes, seven districts for them to command. Oh, Muchinga, you beauty, you are so divine. August, September, the people will meet to celebrate the beginning of the Bemba tribe. Now comes a tale of the children so sweet, a crocodile tale we now will transcribe. The famous Ukusefia Pangoena ceremony takes place in the northern province every September. At this time, the Bemba people trace back their origins from Kola to Lubemba and a chief riding on a large crocodile. Today I will tell you about a folk story about the Muchinga province and the ceremony. Some time ago in the Muchinga province there lived the chief of the Bemba people. Chitimukulu lived with his wife and with four wives and the elders. The people of this province were known to be fearless. Hence Chitimukulu wanted to prove how brave the people of his clan were. The next day he decided to speak with his four wives and the elders. After much discussion, the chief announced, We shall mukwai! We are mukwai! We shall mukwai! We are mukwai! Mkwai. Today marks a very special day, as today we celebrate my personal favorite ceremony, Ukusefia Pangwena. The children will jump into the river, and food will be thrown into the river as well. The child that collects the most food will be crowned the bravest. However, be warned, there are hungry crocodiles that infest these waters, so be careful. We wish you luck, you may begin. The children were all enthusiastic and leaped into the river. Behind them, their parents encouraged them to catch as much floating food as they could. Many had gathered to watch this great event which carried on into the evening. At last, before sundown, countless children had swam in the river and collected all the food. So, the chief crowned all of the brave. Well done. Excellent work. Good job. Okay. And right after, the celebrations began. Some say that the chief rides on the back of a giant crocodile to commemorate this great event. Many children are with him too. Would any of you be so brave? Thank you for listening. Being totally honest, I think I could knock out a crocodile. No jokes. I don't believe that. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, next up we have the uh, eights. They are going to be performing a rap battle for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the eighth Independence Day rap battle. Let the battle begin. Round one. Round one. Rhodesia in the classroom. 1964 in the classroom. 
October 24th in the classroom. The fence in the classroom. We're somewhere in the classroom. No British in the classroom. KK in the classroom. 56 in the classroom. HH in the classroom. Oh.